Welcome to the Crypto Market Minute. I'm Doug. Let's get to the charts. Our analysis really hasn't changed any from yesterday. We're still testing the top or the middle range of this channel here after breaking out above it. Uh, so we're in a wait and see mode right now. Uh, so rather than just saying that, I thought I'd use today as an opportunity to teach a little bit of a lesson. So as you can see, we are still overall in this downtrend. We can, you know, draw a trend line in there if we wanted to, but clearly you can see that things have been moving down and down and down. Uh, let's flip over here to the weekly chart and see how that looks. Uh, obviously, we've been down for many months here. We had this big rundown, a little bit of a bounce, and then it's been selling off pretty aggressively here. And we have paused down here at this little overlap, which we had talked about back from uh, the fall of uh, 2020. So that's where we're sitting right now. So that is incredibly oversold. That doesn't mean that things can't get more oversold, right? Uh, but we are anticipating a bounce or hopefully a turn, but we have to take into consideration a lot of things. So let's talk about that. Yeah, all right then, so we're all on the same page. <laughs> so we're back on the daily chart again, and I've zoomed in on this just this last rundown here, and I wanna focus here on this. So as we had said, we've been down, uh, we had talked about that uh, several days ago that, you know, we had broken above this channel, which was positive. We had come back into the top of that channel, and then we've got this nice little bitty green bar here, which per is a potential turn or a potential setup. Now, when I first started with the technical analysis, and this has been, what, 17, 18 years ago, one of the um, firms that you know I got my education through or whatever would say, hey, you know, this pattern uh, is successful 84% of the time, or this, you know, this setup works 70% of the time, or, or you know, they would try to throw some type of a number like that out there. And the issue is that everything has to be put in context. So this setup where we come up and we pull back and create a higher low is a classic buy setup. But the issue is that this buy setup is occurring in the context of a powerful downtrend. So the chances of a long working here are much smaller than they were if this thing were in an uptrend and it were pulling back and then we would be moving higher. So everything has to be put into context uh, and all of this can be put in the context of larger events, such as what's going on in the world. Obviously, we have really high inflation and high gas prices. Uh, the economy is slowing down. We're entering a recession because uh, we've had two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, which is by definition a recession. So we have a lot of headwinds to any type of a long position here. We have a uh, midterm election coming up here in about four months. So all of these things could continue to provide headwinds, which means this may not be the bottom. We may continue lower, uh, but we're just looking for clues. So this was a nice clue that, hey, perhaps this is setting up a trend change, but we've had setups like this before, right? Here we broke above this channel here and it looked really positive on a very big, large green candle but then it was immediately slammed back down two days later. And of course, then we've sold off significantly into this channel that we're in now. That could happen again. This could come back down and we slide down to another set of lows and uh, you know try to hold there. I, I don't know, nobody knows. That's the problem, we can't tell the future, but we can look at the probabilities. And right now, the, the current the uh, tide, so to speak, is downward. So any long is going to be facing headwinds. We're just looking for clues that the tide is changing. So it'll be some type of a thing like this to where it holds and it does. It tries to go lower and buyers start stepping up and then buyers begin to overpower the sellers. That's when we will notice trend changes and that's why we're looking for things like this. But this may not be the one yet. We always have to be evaluating and watching them every single day. Well, that's all for this morning. 
As always, remember to like and subscribe. And of course, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. We'll see you back here on The Grasp. Oh,